All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol RKT, Rocket Companies, Inc. And before I jump into this show, I want to say welcome to all my first-time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. And to all my subscribers, welcome back. So let's jump into this chart and see what it has to say. Way up here is the highest point. And if we can zoom out and kind of go back at $34, and some change that is the highest point this stock has reached and when it rose before that the highest point was 26 and it hit lows here of about 18 dollars and some change so the lowest point this stock has reached before that high and after this high has been 1832 very important number and just to round it down or up $18.30 is the lowest point. And if that gets broken through, this will see newer lows. But the bulls need to break through this point here, way up there at closer to $32 so that this can see newer highs. And then once that's broken through, it can reach its highest point of $34 and some change. So most important point is 32 first and then on its way up to 34 we'll see newer highs and new resistance levels from 34 there was a leveling off and since then this has been in a bearish trend and a bearish run the bears have been dominating this tearing this one down bringing it down to newer lows now in this bearish run the lowest point that it's reached recently was 19 dollars 43 cents so super super important for the bulls to pay close attention to 34 that's their goal to reach newer highs and new resistance levels and so this can actually kick off in an upward direction and the lowest point that they want to avoid is 1943 now this is what the bears are aiming towards they want to break through 1943 to bring this down to newer lows now if the bears go ahead and accomplish that this will see new support levels. But as of right now, support was used. The bulls actually leveled this off. They kickstarted over the 50 day moving average and broke through resistance several times. But the bears reappeared and leveled this off slightly above the 50 day moving average. The 50 day moving average is 2052. So right now, the bulls are slightly above it by a couple of cents. This closed off at 2056. The 50 day moving average is 2052. If the bears cross the 50 day moving average, this will then in turn start to land closer to the support levels that the bears want to break through and deeper into bearish territory. So let's go ahead and move our support to its new locations and our resistance levels. So the highest point and the lowest point. This all happened within one hour and a half of the day. So let's zoom in here and see what is the most important points here for us. So again, the 50 day moving average is 20.52. We're slightly above it. So we're gonna wanna see who starts the tug of war with control or who gains control as this plays out. So right now the bulls are slightly above by four cents, but the bears can do whatever it takes to tear through it and their goal will then be in turn to break through the 50 day moving average and then go ahead bring this down and break through the support level and our support level is 2002 if 2002 gets broken through that is something i want to emphasize how important it is for every investor to pay close attention to how this stock is behaving how is it acting and what is going on with this ticker symbol at that point. So how is the stock behaving? How quickly is it moving down? Is it slightly hanging out in that area of 2002? And are the bears trying to break this down to newer lows further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction? Or are the bulls even trying to reappear to recover this one? So even if the bulls recover this one and cross support, that's great news for the bulls, but the bulls don't have control until they break the 50 day moving average again. Now, on the other spectrum of things, we have what the bulls want and the bulls need to break through this. This is the highest point before the leveling off and the highest point in the day. 
and that's 21-16. The reason why the Bulls need to break through 21-16 is they need to turn it into a support so they can start working themselves further away from the 50-day moving average in an upward direction and start to break new resistance levels and newer highs. The Bulls need to break through this 50-day moving average if it gets crossed by the Bears, come back up and recover, and break through the resistance. Now, if they start off the day with momentum starting to work their way up, they need to break through resistance of 2116, turn that into a support, and start to work their way up further away from the 50-day moving average in an upward direction. So very important for the Bulls to maintain any momentum and any state of staying above the 50-day moving average in bullish territory, they need to break through 2116. Again, I want to emphasize how important it is if the 50-day moving average gets crossed in a downward direction that 2002 is something to pay close attention to. That support level is pretty deep in bearish territory. And if that gets crossed, that just means the bears are going to tear this down and bring this further away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative and it means you well, please do so and subscribe. But don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. Don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watch this video. And at the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And in that video, I discuss about the S&P 500. And what I go into detail about is a technique that's been working for me by following the scheduled pump dates of the Federal Reserve when they pump the S&P 500 companies. I've noticed that the S&P moves up by 30 to 40 points when these pumps happen and even by more if the anticipation started before and the market is very excited and bullish in that state. Plus the pump, it actually makes it rise by more points. But overall, 30 to 40 points, I've seen it move up. And that's good news for us as investors because as the S&P goes up, S&P 500 companies are going up and most of them go up between 30 cents to three dollars. I've seen them go up even higher sometimes, but just to keep it from an optimistic standpoint and realistic standpoint from what I've seen and experienced, 30 cents to three dollars, they move up per share. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you add up the volume of shares that you decide to purchase as an investor after doing your due diligence and research, that all adds up. And per share, that's profit. 30 cents to $3, that's all profit. Like I always say, profits are profits. So I'm just in that video there to enlighten you guys on some great news and information that many people are overlooking or not even discussing. And I want more investors and viewers that come across my channel to benefit from that information. I do weekly videos on when those pumps are going to come. And that's the last video. And one of the best ways to do your due diligence and research, as I tell every investor and viewer, is grab an individual ticker symbol or a few, depending how you want to do it, or go one by one and compare them to the S&P 500 on the scheduled dates that I talk about in the last video, which there's two of them. And there's previous videos that I talk about other ones that shows you the dates for almost a whole period of a month. Check that out so that you can see the behavior of the individual stock and the behavior of the S&P. And if they're kind of correlating, then you found yourself a stock that's probably benefiting from these pumps, which then in turn, as an investor, you can go ahead and take advantage of those gains. I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell, or hold. Like I said, I'm just here to enlighten you guys and inform every viewer and investor on some great information that many people are overlooking so that we can maximize profits, minimize losses, and go ahead and take advantage of the great news that there is an opportunity to make money while the market is going up or even down on these specific dates by buying at the right times at the lows and selling at the highs so check it out look at the information again i'm not there to tell you guys to buy sell or hold i'm just here to inform you guys hope you guys find it helpful and informative thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money